Rhinoplasty is often regarded as a surgery of millimeters and in some cases one of the hardest procedures to perform. And the reason why is that everything that is manipulated can have a significant effect. When I see patients for rhinoplasty, I'll often see these patients multiple times before planning an operation because I really want to make sure that we see eye to eye because reaching common ground prior to a rhinoplasty is very important. Patients will often have some specific areas that they want to improve, but some patients may not and they say that I just want my nose to look better. And for me, it's very important for patients to actually have clear-cut expectations and I prefer them if there's going to be a lot of improvements that they want to seek that they tell me three specific things. I think that three specific things can actually be treated in an appropriate fashion. There are different techniques to perform rhinoplasty, open and closed techniques. I typically will utilize the open technique because this allows me to see everything and have a control over the entire uh, nasal skeleton and anatomy. If um, a patient doesn't feel comfortable with um, our consultation or I don't feel comfortable with the patient, I'm very um, willing to have a patient see another surgeon just to make sure that they properly assess and feel comfortable with the um, plan that's going to be performed.